I love that movies are trying to be just like 21 Jump Street, meaning they're trying to remake these old TV shows into cruder, raunchy comedy movies. Yes, Chibs tried to do it, and it failed. And now Baywatch is trying to do it, and of course it failed. Hey everyone, welcome to another review, and here's my review for the movie Baywatch. Baywatch stars Dwayne Johnson, John Bass, Zac Efron, and Alexandra Daddario, and this movie is directed by Seth Gordon, a director who makes a lot of really stupid, raunchy comedies. He's made movies like Four Christmases, Identity Thief, and Horrible Bosses. Yes, one of those three movies are good, the rest not so much, but yeah. Now he's directing Baywatch, yes, a movie that is a remake of the old classic classic TV show Baywatch. You know that really stupid lifeguard show with uh, David Hasselhoff and Pam Anderson? I literally watched only a couple episodes of that show. I really hated that show. That show is stupid. It's a stupid show. It has a lot of slow-mo girls running on the beach and stuff. Not much substance to that show. Not much plot or storytelling within that show as well. A lot of people have this like cult phenomenon with it. They all call it like, you know, a cult classic or guilty pleasure sort of show. That's fine if you think so. I really never liked Baywatch. And now I found out they're making a cruder version of Baywatch, but also it's supposed to like satirize Baywatch. It's like a spoof of Baywatch, but also being a Baywatch movie. I just, it just didn't sound interesting to me. It didn't look very good. None of the trailers really got me hooked or got me excited to see this movie. Because I saw Chibs. Chibs was a stupid movie. And I just thought this movie would be like another Chibs. A movie that's trying to be like 21 Jump Street. And just not at all 21 Jump Street. 21 Jump Street was like a one-of-a-kind movie. Of course, that movie had Phil Lord and Christopher Miller, which are actually talented directors. This is Seth Gordon, a guy who does stupid, raunchy movies. And that's exactly what Bay watch is. It's a stupid, stupid, raunchy movie. Like, I can see maybe some people liking it, some people having some dumb fun with it. That's fine. I didn't. I didn't find this movie very good. Or I didn't even laugh very much. Like, from the opening shot, you know exactly what you're getting in for. You can see Dwayne Johnson with no shirt on running in slow-mo. You know exactly what you're getting into. You're going to see a movie with a lot of, you know, half-naked dudes, or actually a lot of naked dudes. There's a lot of naked dudes in this movie. And you get to see half-naked chicks running in slow-mo with their boobs hanging out and stuff. And yeah... That's what you're gonna get, and it's sort of like a investigation story, these lifeguards who think they're cops and stuff, and yeah, it's really dumb. It's really stupid, this movie, and this movie knows it's stupid, so it tries to be incredibly stupid, but not in a clever way. Yes, it's self-aware of how idiotic it is, but it's still not very funny, and movies can be really funny if they are self-aware. That's why Zoolander is so funny, and Horrible Bosses, that's why that movie's really funny and stuff, and 21 Jump Street, those are funny movies, but this one, I barely laughed at all in this movie. I was just shaking my head and just, it was really annoying to watch. And this movie is almost two hours. That is way too long for a Baywatch movie. Like, come on. A Baywatch raunchy comedy should not be two hours long. Unless you have a good story, interesting characters, and funny scenes. There's no need for your movie to be that long. And this movie, oh god, it was annoying. It wasn't funny. I barely laughed at all. Zac Efron and Dwayne Johnson, they're giving okay performances, but there's nothing, there's not much to them. They're very one-dimensional characters. Dwayne Johnson is very charming. Like, uh, like everyone knows that, everyone says it, because it's the truth. It's Dwayne Johnson. Dwayne Johnson's a great guy, and he's really funny and enjoyable. I wish he was funny and enjoyable in this movie, but at least he was still likable. Like, that, he was likable in Pain and Gain, and that was a stupid movie, but... Like this one, even when he plays in dumb movies, Dwayne Johnson's always charming, always likable. I always like Dwayne Johnson. Zac Efron was enjoyable at times, but again, he just wasn't funny and stuff. Same with Alexandra Daddario. Basically, all she does in this movie is react to things like, or, ooh, or, ooh, oh, that's all her character does. She is just there to react to things like, oh, talk about substance and stuff. And then there's John Bass, who was supposed to be the comedic sidekick and stuff. And my god, nothing he said was funny. He was really annoying. I'm not going to blame him. I'm going to mostly blame the script because the script for this movie is a pile of ass. But still, he was so annoying and so unfunny. And I felt like this movie was trying to be like, hey, this guy's funny. <laughs> this guy. John Bass, this guy. He's hilarious. He's not funny. Stop making him funny. John Bass is not going to happen unless he plays in a movie with a smart script.
script. This one has no smart script. And yeah, Seth, uh, Seth Gordon's direction is really clunky and ugly and stuff. There's action scenes and they, they just don't work. They don't work. There's a lot of quick cuts. And then there's scenes with Dwayne Johnson fighting people. And it looks ugly because it's so horribly edited and so horribly shot. There's even CGI in this movie, and it's garbage to look at. Absolute garbage to look at and stuff, and yeah. I just, I, w I really didn't like this movie, and I was really waiting for the movie to end when it got about halfway through. I thought the movie was almost done when I hit the hour mark, but then I found out there was like another hour to go. I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, I don't know how I'm going to take it and stuff, but I took it. And I saw it, and now I'm reviewing it, and, and I'm saying to all of you, please don't see it. Please do not waste your money, and to go see this movie, it's not funny. It's not funny. If you like dumb comedies, maybe you'll get a few laughs, but it's not a good movie. Don't give this movie money, so, because if you give this movie money, it might make a sequel, and we don't need another Baywatch movie. This movie is just stupid. It's just as dumb as the movie Chibs, so yeah, please skip this one. So yeah. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give the movie Baywatch a 3.5 out of 10. So yeah, please, do not see this movie. Don't give this movie money. We don't need a sequel. There's only one 21 Jump Street, and that is 21 Jump Street. So yeah, that was my review for the movie Baywatch. So in the comment section below, please tell me, did you ever watch the TV show Baywatch? Like, honestly, did you ever really sit down and actually watch a full episode of Baywatch? And if you did, how insufferable was it? For me, it was painful to watch, but how painful was it for you to watch? It was probably just as painful as watching this movie, but still, yeah. What are your thoughts and opinions of Baywatch, the movie, the show? Give me your thoughts and opinions. Comment below. Let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please like like, subscribe to this channel, and join the dark side.